Hello dear shooters, thank you for choosing the SCAT system and uh, we'll record three videos on how to set up the SCAT MXW2, the SCAT MX02 and the SCAT BASIC. Um, these will somewhat um, intertwine but generally it will be a separate video for each system. Once again, good luck with your training and thank you for choosing SCAT. So as the first step when you receive your SCAT trainer and go ahead and set it up, you'll need to identify the mounting kit. This is the universal mounting kit that comes with the system. Um, it's a V-shaped aluminum block with adjustment screws, a flexible metal strap and a small Allen wrench. Um, just run the metal strap around the air cylinder or the barrel of your gun. Then uh, make sure that the brass screws face the back of your gun like this and hook the metal strap on one side and then run that screw here and then tighten it up. Um, I have the dovetail mount. This is where the sensor will go. I have it on the bottom but it doesn't really have to be on the bottom so we can put it at a uh, 3 o'clock position or 9 o'clock position. Uh, whatever works best for us. So um, make sure it's tight, just, just finger tight, doesn't have to be crazy tight. And one thing to remember is uh, for the sensor to read the shot, to feel that vibration and the shot sound from your trigger, the connection here must be metal to metal. Um, there should not be any sort of padding or tape in between the mount and the gun. Once you have the universal mount, set up on the gun, you can go ahead and slide the sensor on the dovetail rail just like that and then tighten it up with the Allen wrench. Like I said before, I'll loosen this up a little bit. You can have the sensor at any angle around the barrel you want. Um, so you can loosen this up, rotate it, uh, if this is more convenient. Once you have the software installed, you'll see a thumbnail like that. Um, and at this point, you can uh, safely connect your sensor to the computer with the provided USB cable. Um, once you do that, you can go ahead and open the software. And it's uh, pretty straightforward. The first thing you'll do is you'll, you'll need to click Start Practice. Um, I already have a user here, but uh, you will need to add a new one. So I'll show you how, to, how you do it. Uh, just uh, enter your name so, and click Add. And then go ahead and click Continue. It will show you the, that your device is connected. You'll see the serial number of your sensor. And once you click continue, it'll prompt you to choose the target you want to practice with. And on the bottom here, you will also have different filters you can apply to uh, search faster for a um, target that you need. So you can choose just the pistol targets or just the rifle targets or just the NRA targets, for example. Um, for the purposes of this installation video, we'll be using the 10 meter air pistol target. So that's the one. I'm choosing here. The next step is printing and setting up your target and it's hard uh, to stress enough how important this step is for correct target recognition. Um, a lot of times people who set it up for the first time have issues with the sensor not recognizing the target. Um, in, in the vast majority of cases this is due to incorrect target setup. Um, what I mean by that is, first you need to print out the right sc scale target. Um, and this is a real, real size target, so it's a 10 meter air pistol target printed for the 10 meter distance, so for the real distance. So this would be the size of a, of a target you purchase at a store. However, we have a distance of 5 meters here, as you can see on the um, tape measure here. So we have well, we're just, just a bit over five. Um, that's why we have a scaled down version of this target. This is how it looks like. So it's a 10 meter 
air pistol target, but printed for five meters. And if you set up a bigger target at a closer range, the target will appear too big for the sensor. At shorter distances, if you're scaling down the target below five meters, so we have five meters here, we recommend printing out the target without the scoring ring. So it's, it's the same target essentially, it's just missing the scoring rings because sometimes, depending on the light and the print quality, these rings might show up as a haze uh, in the sensor's view. Once you have the target printed, you can go ahead and stick it on the wall or any other surface you choose for your practice. Um, there is not much to it, but one very crucial thing to remember is the light on the target. The target has to be, it, it must be well lit in order for the sensor to see it and to recognize it. Uh, the, it, it must be uh, a black circle on solid white background and the light should be a directed light at the target. We don't need a light that's too strong. A regular table lamp or a flexible lamp like this one will be fine but it has to be a directed light at the target, not an omnidirectional lamp that will shine onto the target as well as into the sensor. As you can see here, this light is not very strong, but it will be enough to, to light up the target and for the sensor to recognize the target. But in a situation uh, like this, where you have an opposing light, a light that opposes the sensor, it will not work because a, a, a source of light stronger than, than your target light is shining into the sensor, basically blinding the sensor. So you need to keep in mind that there shouldn't be sources of light next to the target shining in your direction. Keep in mind that the target area should be the brightest spot in the adjacent surrounding. Once you are done with the target setup, you will proceed into calibration. This is the last step before your practice. Um, during the calibration uh, stage, you need to take one good shot at the center of your paper target because this will align the sensor's um, sight to your sight. There is no physical alignment uh, that's needed. It's all automatic in the software, but it relies on the how, how well you take that first shot. Um, but before taking the shot, you need to make sure that the sensor is, um, doesn't have a, uh, is, is not misaligned and it's looking in the same direction your sight is looking. For that, we'll, we'll use the preview mode in the corner right there. Um, click on the preview mode and you'll see the raw feed from your sensor. Um, and what you want to see is you want to aim at the target and at the same time peek at the screen of your uh, computer. You want to see the target well within the, set, within the field of view of the camera. This circle is the field of view of your uh, sensor and your target should be, it doesn't, does not have to be centered but it just has to be fairly well within the, the boundaries of it. So a situation like this is not good. You don't want it like that. You want it to be at least like this or closer, but it doesn't necessarily have to be ideal. So it shouldn't be, you don't have to worry about being like that. Uh, if you're seeing something like this and it's on the very edge, what you need to do is you need to use these brass screws, these adjustment brass screws to tilt the sensor a bit, to change the angle of your sensor so it would aim closer to your line of sight. Um, however, this issue can only happen at distances uh, shorter than probably five meters. This is due to the parallax because there's quite a bit of distance between your line of sight and the sensor's uh, line of sight. So we've made sure, in our case, we've made sure that the sensor is well aligned. Now we need to click off the preview mode. You'll see a black circle, which once again represents the field of view of the sensor, not the, not the black target. Um, and you need to aim as carefully as possible at that target and take a, as good of a shot as possible with uh, any help involved, use any rest or, or bench if available. Um, once you take the shot, it records that coordinate as a center for your sight. Um, once you see it, you can click continue and you will be in practice mode. So at this point, you can go ahead and start your practice. Um, 
just aim. Please don't laugh at my shooting performance. I'm here to show you how to set it up, not to show you how to shoot well. Well, this one was unexpectedly better. But uh, that's it. This is uh, how the setup system looks like.